I came in 57, 1957. Camelot, 52 years this year. I came here in 1956, the 6th of August. I land here. I come by, I come by plane, I come by ship. I came by plane, it took me a day. They called me, as I said, we went to Canada. We went to Canada first to pick up people, then we came over to Heathrow. Mm. So I left the Saturday morning, Barbados, and got in Saturday, in Sunday morning. And on the Monday, I had to find my way to Chiswick to, at the training school for conductors. Coming to England, this is this is no lie. Coming to England started out as a joke. I was working at Holy Brothers as a joke. I was a joke in Barbados. And I had a good, good friend called Johnny Culpepper. You know, and we used to see in the paper how they, they called England, they sent the people down to Barbados to recruit you. You, see, you, go, you go to a place called Queen's Park, you sit and test. If you pass the test, they send you to the health centre anymore for tests and so on. But every time me and Johnny get the paper, read it, so many people fail this test. So Johnny said, we want to, let's go and sit that test. So we went, sat down, we sit the test, I passed. And Johnny didn't pass. But the next day, and he passed. But it moved from there. You get some money to stand and you can't draw for it because the government pays you. I think the, the fare in those days wasn't really a lot, about 90 pounds or so. But they pay the fare. I mean, you come here, you, you send back payments monthly to, to them. So I had to get the boys to stand the garage top for it. The forest gate at the time, the sh a shared room in forest gate with two other guys, three men in one room. Some of these landlords were, were, were no good, really. You know, the first place I lived, I stayed there for about two weeks. The landlord, you know, a miserable man, a Jamaican. But I think he had a white woman living with a white woman. And we were on the buses. We do a late shift, we finish about 12 o'clock. And then I had to wait there for a staff bus from another garage, Upton Park, to, to get to get to Forest Gate. So it might be about one o'clock or so before I actually get home. And this guy would be outside or come downstairs at one o'clock when you hear him coming to, to get his rent. He, he couldn't wait until Saturday morning when he wake up. He must have his rent on the Friday night, you know. And uh, we stayed there for about two or three weeks. And one of the guys that was me cussed him so much thing. And we just left. And then, then I went further down to Stratford. I lived about seven places before he came over here. Because the landlord had another house in Bow. A Jamaican chap too. And he comes every Saturday morning to collect his rent. And you don't see him again until the next Saturday. You had, you had your place for yourself, but I, I like that. But then I came, I was working at the ending garage here, so I decided, yeah, I forgot to move, I'd come a bit nearer. And then I went from Vicarage Road to West Avenue, and then I came here. Those were years, you used to get all the snow and the foul. And I remember on the buses, we didn't burn a bus for about a week. The foul, you couldn't see. I used to leave West Avenue Road, walk down to the bus garage and sit down and play cards or something or you can't you can't bring the buses out. You can't. Barbies and then you come with all this snow and fog and mist and everything. I didn't like that. Especially in the mornings early when I'm going to work. I as long as there's snow on the ground I always fall over. But I up to now I I like to see see snow from a distance. But I don't like going up there in the snow. You know, but then you get accustomed to it. I left the buses in nineteen sixty six. Waiting post office, left the post office in 19, I had 27 years in post office, 1993. I took early retirement, I had three years to go, but took early retirement. On the I can't remember, on the buses, I think, it was about, I really can't remember. Well, it wasn't a big money, it was about 11 pounds a week or something, like in those days. Get about 15. No, no, it was about 11 pounds a week, about 11 pounds on the buses, yeah. It was about 11 pounds. Because by the time I pay three or four pound rent, the rent used to be about three or four pound, and then it's because there's three people sharing the room, yeah. you see. Yeah. How big did we meet, no? Taylor. When there was on the buses then, there used to be a guy there, he used to have excursions every year, mostly to Brighton. He used to have excursions every year. And Taylor tell me he's got a friend that he's going to bring along with him. <laughs> <laughs> So he brought her along with this excursion. I mean, he said, we got to know each other and so on. We decided to settle down. But Taylor had his girlfriend. 
And I got married before too. They said I got married about a month after me. They've got quite a few little weddings there, there, you know. We married and then we come. We got married. Yeah. We got married when she came over here. We got married at the church of Stoke Newington. If you look, I'm oh, sorry, okay, but if you see a man, I'll bring you would see where I was living, and yeah, and we married at that church at the corner of Fountain Road. You know, Michael, Michael's. see Michael and all the angels. Mm. That would be all bad times, really. Yeah. I I never. Like had any plans in my mind like to go back to Barbados to be quite honest. I did my country. But I have a, didn't have a, have any plans. If you didn't plan you to go to the other point flying now. But if you can go back to Barbados and worry what's going on here, you, you might as well stay here and go down go down to Barbados and spend your holidays. I think about buying or building a house now is out of the question. Not not that my years now. Yeah, I'm glad that I came here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Well, I mean for for a lot of reasons I'm glad that I came here. Because I don't hide it from anybody. In my business, I used to drink. I had a crowd. We had our own crowd. Me, Johnny, we had our own crowd. And when we finished work in the evening, he's drinking. We used to stop in about seven or eight different shops on the way home, drinking, drinking, drinking. We used to drink. You sit in the front two or three bottles and you don't move until it's all finished. We had a good time. We had a good time in my business. I like we had good times, but I'm not sorry that he came here. And I don't think I would have known Boss Cabell if I didn't meet her. <laughs> oh, although I'm in Barbados in a small country, I didn't know I don't travel that kind of way, but I wouldn't know where to find it. But if efforts to happen, it will happen. Probably I might have met her in Barbados, I don't know, because I think she used to work in Beach I don't know, but, but you know, that's how it was. I don't regret coming here.